Live from the Bob Levy Broadcast Center, overlooking the Tom's River, it's time to get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Be a part of the show, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Good morning and welcome back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. I am Phil Brilliant, the guest host this morning for Jeremy as he is out of town, but he did just text me. And by the way, my clock says 7.06 this morning, and we're being told that it might actually be 7.09 because my clock might be a little slow, but uh, we'll fix that. That's a little technical difficulty. But Jeremy did just text me. I want to make sure that Ronnie um, from ARMS hopefully is still listening, that uh, the Jay and Linda Grunin Foundation will donate $5,000 to uh, arms this morning and we have some applause in the background which is great and uh, I just uh, you know need to make sure that I get that back to the home office and that uh, we do thank Jeremy and we thank Ronnie for joining us this morning and uh, telling us the story of arms and as we move on to our seven o'clock our guest David Paulus of the 200 Club of Ocean County and I do welcome uh, David into the studio this morning good morning good morning thank you and it's Great opportunity to be part of the show this morning. It's great to have you here, and it's always there's always a difference between having somebody on the phone and having somebody in front of me. And uh, though I will tell you, you know, Ronnie's interview this morning went very easy because it was a, you know, kind of an emotional talk, and you know, talking to you. And now that I've learned a little bit more about the 200 Club of Ocean County, uh, another organization that does phenomenal uh, things for our men and women in uniform, but different uniforms. So, yeah. tell us a little about the 200 Club, about yourself, and how you got involved. Well, the 200 Club of Ocean County is one of 19 200 clubs throughout the state. And our primary mission is really to be a widows and orphans organization for police, fire, or EMS workers that are killed or seriously injured in the line of duty. Um, That unfortunately happens in Ocean County more than it should. And what the 200 Club does is in the event of a serious incident where someone is killed in the line of duty, someone from the 200 Club Board of Trustees is at the bedside or at the home of the individual, um, putting our hand essentially on their shoulder, uh, handing them a check because immediately when something like that happens, there is a traumatic need for, because accounts are frozen and so forth, there's a need for funds. Um, We make that happen. And then our motto is that we remember, and we remember them for years and years to come. We take care of the families and do whatever is necessary. That that is phenomenal. And uh, I always hate asking the question I don't know the answer to, but you had said to me when we were talking that you've been involved in this for 30 years. What brought you into it? Well, back in in the early 80s, uh, I became involved because my brother's a police officer. He, he was a police officer. He's now retired. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was up in Eatontown. And I thought, what a great way to give back. I began actually working through Spring Lake Golf Club, where I helped to help run their golf outing. Um, saw the organization, saw the value of it. And that was just in its infancy here in New Jersey. Uh, the 200 Club of Ocean County used to be of Mammoth in Ocean County. Um, we actually split apart because of the tremendous needs here in Ocean County right. as well. Uh, that's that's amazing. And we talked a little about, and I, I said I always do a little research when people come in. So the 200 Club, how did it start out being called the 200 Club? Back in the early 50s in Detroit, uh, there was a police officer. He was about 22, 23 years old. He was on the job about a year, and he went to the scene of a domestic. Um, a domestic was where you know a couple was fighting, and he was killed in the line of duty. Uh, That young man left back then. There were no pensions. There were no nothing. Um, And he left a young wife who was pregnant at the time. Uh, A group of concerned uh, business people, and that's what the 200 Club is really made up of, is business people. A group of concerned business people got together and put $200 each in to a pot. Back then, $200 went a lot, a lot further. Yeah, went a lot further, um, yeah, definitely, definitely. And it was able to help that young woman and her child do what was necessary uh, to get her through the day. They ended up helping them buy a house and do some other things because at that point, she had nothing. 
you know, so the so the two hundred club grew from that organization out of Detroit. Yes. Um, any idea how many across the country? There are approximately four hundred throughout the country. Wow. Um, you know, and that number goes up or down. You know, as and hopefully up. A uh, hopefully up, definitely. And it was interesting, you know, as I said to you, I I you know, did some research and I'm reading your board of trustees and your officers. And uh, again, I really didn't know about the 200 Club, but I look at your board of trustees and officers, and I almost know every one of them. Right. And again, local businessmen and women throughout the community. Well, primarily, we don't. We are a nonprofit, 501c3, um, but we don't advertise. Yes, we now have Facebook, and we have our website. We're actually everybody's got Facebook, right? We're redoing our website, so when you go to 200 Club 200 Club of Ocean org, um, you'll see. Some of the information may not be quite smooth enough, but we're smoothing that out. Um, but the fact of the matter is that we do it because there are police officers, firefighters, and EMS workers that have a need. And we do it quietly because we want to champion what they do. Uh, we want to support law enforcement, fire, and, and EMS. Well, that, that, that is great. That is that's amazing. And again, you still hold true as I look at the website a new membership is $200. Yes. New membership is $200, and then the annual membership after that is $150. That also includes um, your attendance, if you'd like to, uh, at our annual Valor and Meritorious Service Awards uh, dinner, uh, which this year is being held on June 10th, uh, Friday night at the Woodlake Country Club. Uh, So there we will be recognizing a number of people who have gone above and beyond the call of duty. Okay, don't give out the honorees yet because we're going to hold that over, you know, till after our first break. We want to make sure you know we have a little teaser out there. But so with the um, with the membership, um, is, is everybody active in the same way, or basically, you know, two hundred dollars you can give two hundred dollars and stay by the uh, sidelines. You can give two hundred dollars and you can stay by the sidelines. This is an organization where there's no heavy lifting outside of what our board does. And of course, with any organization, the board does phenomenal amounts of work, um, and we thank them. Uh, some of the things that we have done in the past with our, you know, and, and through our organization is during Hurricane Sandy. Um, the 200 Club also was asked, we asked um, the police officers, what is necessary right after Hurricane Sandy? Well, that translated into us providing 400 meals a day to the police, fire, oh, wow. first aid as part of the security team over on uh, the Barrier Island. Okay, that's great. So so it's not, you know, it, it, you've extended that support, um, not just to those men and women who have been injured or families that have lost, you know, loved ones on the line, in the line of duty, but also in Hurricane Sandy helping, you know, put food on people's tables and, and feeding those people who were out there helping others. Correct. You know. What what we've basically done is we, at that time, I picked up the phone and called uh, some of the folks here and said, what do you need? And they said, well, we need food. And I said, well, what do you mean? Well, the guys who were over there on that barrier island, they couldn't run to McDonald's. There was no McDonald's. There was there, no McDonald's. You're right. There was no yeah. nothing uh, to get food from. So... We actually, with one of our board members, um, the, the Perlmutters and the Perlmutter ShopRites, I picked up the phone and they were able to really supply us with huge amounts of product. And my business partner uh, did a lot of cooking uh, <laughs> and so forth. We made sure that that food got there. Uh, but we were one of the primary catalysts for providing that food. That, that's great. And I guess it all co- also goes back to the whole thing where, you know, you have a call to duty, you're, you're supporting, you know, the police, the fire, and the first aid, and, you know, something else happens. And you need to step up to the table. You need to make sure that you can help those who are in need. And, you know, in this situation, you're helping those who are helping those in need which is phenomenal. Uh, Again, we are talking to Dave Paulus of the 200 Club of Ocean County. When we come back from our break, I want to talk a little bit about those honorees on June 10th uh, for your upcoming gala. We'll be back in a moment. 
great. The Sean Hannity Show, this afternoon at 3. Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin returns next. News Talk Radio WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. News Talk Radio WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. And WOBMAM.com. Good morning. Welcome back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. I was uh, talking to Dave here from the uh, 200 Club of Ocean County. It is 720 or around 7.20, it is time to get up, get out, and do something. And again, we are talking to Dave Paulus of the uh, 200 Club of Ocean County, talking about all that he does and his organization does to help the uh, police, fire, EMTs, and their families. And we want to talk a bit more about the award ceremony on June 10th at the Woodlake Country Club in Lakewood. Uh, so tell us a little about, you know, who gets honored, how they get chosen to get honored, and how people can support that event. Well, there are several classifications that we honor. Uh, And in the last segment, we talked about how somebody gets killed or seriously injured in the line of duty. And basically, that's where we go and I'll put my hand on somebody's shoulder and offer my condolences. Well, our award ceremony is really an opportunity for us to shake the hand of the people who have gone above and beyond the call of duty. Um, and thank God they're, they're here they're there. to yeah. celebrate that. And they're here to celebrate the fact that they have helped someone else, whether it's from our community or who's just passing through. Um, we have several awards. Uh, our first and our top award is really our Valor Award. Valor means you've gone above and beyond the call of duty. You have walked into that burning building, and maybe you're a volunteer firefighter, or maybe you're a police officer who's the first one to get to the scene, maybe an EMS worker, and you don't have the Scott Air Pack. Well, you hear somebody inside the house, and that house is 2,000 degrees. Mm-hmm. That's what they cook a steak at, at you know, right. the, the local steakhouses. You still go in because you hear someone in there. You might hear the dog. You go in. You look for the dog or the cat. And... That's what our volunteers and our police officers and paid firefighters are doing. Um, And those are the people that we're recognizing. Um, We also have our unit citations, which are, uh, again, a Valor unit citation. Um, This year came from uh, the explosion that happened down in Stafford Township. Right. Uh, And we also have some life-saving awards. These are people who, again, figured a way to save someone's life and put their life on the line. Um, Last but not least, we do have meritorious service. Meritorious service comes from an individual who may have created a program that is worthy of merit because that program in and of itself has helped to save lives, has helped to put people of Ocean County in a better position. We also have meritorious service awards that go out to people who are over 40 years as a volunteer, volunteers with our uh, EMS and and a 40-year veteran of an EMS company is really a 40-year first aider. Definitely. That's what they called them back then. That that is that is great, and I think and you touched upon something I wasn't even thinking about. I mean, it brings to light also, you know, you're you're giving support out to men and women who may not be uh, salaried men and women. Because a lot of our fire and first aid squads are still volunteer. Absolutely. The, the funny thing is, um, I go to the beach up in Seaside Park, and one day I was walking over to get a cheeseburger. and Not a, not a cheesesteak. No, not a cheesesteak. Okay, yeah, okay. Going over to get a cheeseburger, and I was walking by the Seaside Park Fire Department, and I heard the siren go off. Now, I've been involved with the 200 Club for a long time, and I see somebody ride up on a bicycle. I see somebody come up in an old beat-up Jeep with fishing poles on the front. (laughs) I see somebody walk over from the gas station. And it just struck me that these people leave their job. They left, you know, they leave the beach. And they go put on these uniforms. And at the time, although not now, it was 100 degrees out or 90 degrees. These people are interrupting their lives to save the life and make it better. Um, 
it just and, it does my heart well. Right, and there's really there's no planning when it comes to the need for fire and EMT. I mean, so it's not like they're sitting there waiting for the alarm to go off and then the run. But right. whatever they're doing, they pick themselves up and they go service the community. And it is amazing. It's always great when people give back and support them. And again, we are talking to Dave Paulus of the uh, 200 Club of Ocean County, the June 10th uh, award ceremony at the Woodlake Country Club. When we come back after this break, we want to talk a little bit more about how to get tickets to that event, how to participate, and also talk about some family stories. Back in a moment. The news never stops at WOBMAM.com. Get the latest from WOBM News, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Gronin. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Good morning and welcome back to Wake Up with Jeremy Gronin. I am Phil Brilliant, guest hosting today for Jeremy, and it is 734 on both mine and Zach's clocks. We're not sure how the time changed because I did not touch a clock. But it is time to get up, get out, and do something. It is 55 degrees outside. It is drizzling a little, but we know the sun will come out today and tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be 80 degrees. And we are here with Dave Paulus of the 200 Club of Ocean County, and we are talking about all the great things that they do to support the men and women in uniform for our police, our fire, and our first aid. I keep staring at your shirt to remind myself that works very well for me. I need my props and uh, when we went into break, we were talking a little bit about uh, membership and about fundraisers. And you really said that, you know, your, your big fundraiser is membership. Yes. Uh, basically, that's how the 200 Club does what it does. Um, we are a 501c3. Um, we have one young lady who takes care of our membership at $350 a month. So all of the money goes to support the work that we do, the police, the fire, and the first aid. And... Uh, our membership is $200 to join, thus the name yeah. 200 Club, and uh, annually it's $150 a year. And that's what allows us to do what we do. Right. Um, and, you, and you said you have about 500 members? Yeah, approximately 500 members. Um, and what you receive when you join as a member is um, you'll receive a gold card, uh, which will be engraved with your name. You carry it in your wallet and so on and so forth. Uh, you'll receive a window sticker because... That's, again, the modest amount of advertising that we do is by putting our name on someone's car. Um, this way, if you're driving down the road, at least those police, fire, or EMTs, um, they'll know that you're a supporter of all the hard work that they do when they wake up in the morning. That is, that is fantastic. And I think uh, you know, it goes back to I have these arguments with my uncle who's 82 years old all the time and contributes to all these different organizations. And I always say to him, do you ever look online and see how much of the dollar that you send you know, goes to the overhead of the administration? This morning we talked, about, talked to Ronnie of Arms, and she said 98% goes back to the military. And again, we're talking here, your overhead is 300 some odd dollars. So everything that you donate into the 200 Club is going out to those families. Exactly. That Exactly. And it is. It's those families that we see at least every year at, at the holiday time. Um, it, it just does my heart so well. Our board members are the ones that will go out. We bring, we bring flowers. We certainly bring uh, a financial contribution to them every year. Um, this past year, you know, of the approximately 12 families um, that we support annually, um, I had the opportunity to go down to uh, Tina Rambo's home. Uh, Tina was killed in the line of duty, uh, was a, a, worked at the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office, and I had a chance to meet her children and to, you know, look in their eyes and talk to them. And, and this was years ago. And they look at me and they said, wow, here's somebody who is here because of my mom. And it just brings that to heart. And especially around the holiday time, yeah. uh, their house was decorated to the nines and, you know, a beautiful home. And, you know, it, it's just amazing to look into their eyes and see that their mom is still around. That, that is great. And we do know that, you know, Tina's sister, Tara Cunningham, is a uh, friend of the show, a uh, 
you know, works with the uh, Jay and Linda Grunin Foundation. And uh, you she know, works with them. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> no, yeah, she, I'm saying. Yeah, she yeah. does a little bit she, more. She, than... she is. I, I think a lot of times at Jay and Linda Grunin Foundation. Right. Uh, I, I mean, if I say that, you know, that Jeremy's going to smack me later. But uh, you know, she'll probably be asking for a raise later. But she does some phenomenal things for the police and the fire and uh, the organization. So I think uh, you just you just hit home right there. Right. And, and think, she also dances very well. She dances. Uh, uh, the rumor has it that I'll be taking her place next year with a partner. So I really have to be nice because uh, I do need her support as we go forward next year. But that kind of brings us to, you know, you talk about the families and, you know, that's always the uh, the toughest part because you leave there and you wipe the tears from your eyes and you look into those those kids eyes. And, you know, it's a good opportunity to give you the J the J whew, the Jeremy Grunin magic wand. You know, which we give out to all of our guests, where it's the opportunity, unlimited funds, unlimited unlimited resources, and to uh, what would you do to be able to uh, help those in need or the community, you know, with your magic wand? Well, with my magic wand, it would be awesome to have additional funds to give and create scholarships for the specific individuals who have lost their lives uh, in the line of duty. Um, that's what we would like. Um, we'd like to be able to count up all of the children that are currently in the system uh, and be able to give something to each one of those kids uh, in the form of a scholarship so that they can go to college when they get to that point in their lives. The, the funny thing is that we get back and we see these families every year. Right. And we've watched them grow up. Um, you know, for instance, Tina's kids... Um, Nietzsche Pressler, who was killed in the line of duty in Lakewood. I've seen Lisa Pressler's children, again, grow up over the years. And it's been so many years. And these, her two children are turning into beautiful young women. And they're going to need help and support. I can only imagine. I mean, you've done this for 30 years. And the families and the kids. I mean, these are kids who now have kids. Right. You know, that you've seen their lives grow throughout the years. I have to tell you, that brings back a real classic story. I was uh, downtown at the county um, about four or five years ago, and I heard a young woman who works at the prosecutor's office, probation department or something like that, and I heard her introduce her name, and her last name was Wick. Um, And there was a a man who was killed in the line of duty, and uh, his wife was Kathy Wick, um, and again... We've stayed with them over the years. Kathy would send us wonderful cards every year, you know, around the holidays. And we did. We got and saw them. I said something to this young woman, not knowing who she was. And all of a sudden, her eyes teared up. And she said, do you know how important it was for my mom to see somebody come to the house, bring flowers, bring the check? Because, you know, it was rough. Right. And her eyes teared up. My eyes teared yeah. up. And this was, uh, their that's, dad that's died a, 20 great, years ago. That's a great encounter in the street, you know, and that, that is phenomenal. And I think, again, you know, what you do, you know, Dave, um, and the uh, the 200 Club of Ocean County and everybody who's giving back to help support those families who have lost loved ones and, and those who, you know, have survived. Right. You know, and I think it is great. Again, we're, we've are we been talking this morning with Dave Paulus of the 200 Club of Ocean County. Their website is 200clubofocean.org. Check them out. $200 to join. Definitely be joining. I'll be joining after speaking to Dave this morning. You should, too. Again, we'll be back in a moment. 